Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 9, and this is war number 11. We just got one more to go, and we're going up against ISO 8C, Champions Anonymous. Alright, so you can see the team that I've gone in here with. I've started to bring Ghost in just so that I can get a little bit more uh, practice playing her. Alright, so we're still not pushing in war. And first up, we've got a Cosmic Champion. Now, these early nodes are diversity nodes, so I'm not expecting a very strong defender here. All right, but Blade should be able to handle whoever I face. And it's Corvus, and he's unawakened. So that makes him a little bit easier. Now, I used to be surprised to find Corvus being used as a defender when he's such a good champion on offense. Uh, my Corvus, I use him in Alliance Quest all the time, and before we focused on Alliance Quest, I used him in Alliance War all the time. And he is a beast. However, depending on this person's roster, they may have champions uh, that do better on the path that they have in Alliance War. Alright, so he goes down pretty, pretty easily. Uh, he can catch you if you're not uh, vigilant. Uh, he'll catch you with that special two. I've had that happen. I went for the parry and he fires off a special two and wrecks me. So next up, we've got a mutant. Now, I normally would bring in Blade, but I'm always wary of facing a cable. So I said, nope, I'm not going to go ahead and go in with Blade. I'll use Starkey just in case. And I guessed right. So this is the matchup I like. I love fighting Cable with my Starkey. Uh, he does very well. As you can see, I'm just building up his poise charges here. And once I get him all the way up there, or close, yep, there we go, he's maxed. Now I'm going for the parry, and then just wreck him. Look at that damage. It's just nuts. He never even gets to his uh, special one. Now, the next fight is going to be the poison node. Now, for this node, this is why I brought in Ghost, because she can handle uh, that poison node. She's the only one on my team currently that can. And it's going to be a mutant. I'm not sure who this is, but I'm fairly certain that Ghost can handle it, whoever it is. Now, whether I can handle it with Ghost is another story. All right, so this fight it's going to be a Nightcrawler. Now, if you saw my last one, Nightcrawler was on Bane, and I got wrecked. And Ghost should have been able to take him out easily. And as you can see here, no problem. That is how the fight should have looked on the Bane node the last time I faced him. So Nightcrawler, one of the things that makes him so annoying is, of course, that auto-evade. But he cannot evade Ghost Critical. So what you want to do is just what I was doing there. You just attack one time and phase. One time, phase. And you'll hit him. You notice he didn't evade out of any of that. All right. Now, we've got five energy. It's the next day. And this is the last leg of my path. So this node that we're going to be facing here first is power gain. And as you saw, there's a tech on this one. There's also a tech on the uh, next one, which is uh, unblockable special one. Now, most of the time, when I see a tech on this node, it's Iron Man Infinity War. He's the most popular tech that I have faced on this node. And I'm like, man, I don't have my Hyperion, and I don't have my Iron Man Infinity War. Both of them are undefeated on this node facing Iron Man Infinity War. I have lost to him uh, using another champion, I think Dr. Voodoo, because I wasn't used to it. All right, so I'm ready. I got Starkey, and it's Sentinel. All right, so Sentinel, I can't build up my poise charges the way that I would like because it'll give him too many analysis charges. So you see, I started to build up, but then I stopped and just decided to go ahead and attack. This is also where Blade, that Blade synergy comes in handy because he starts with three poise charges. All right, so how you want to fight Sentinel, and thank you for running suicides, 
uh, how you want to fight Sentinel is you don't want to repeat your attack. So you want to do a medium, light, medium attack. Uh, there's also a way, if he fires his special one, for you to evade, then dash forward, or do a light attack, rather, and then evade again to avoid giving him uh, analysis charges. But that's a little tricky. I've gotten the timing down mm, somewhat. All right, so next up is Green Goblin. And again, this is the perfect matchup. So Green Goblin's special one, I can't evade it completely. Fortunately, even when it's an unblockable, as long as you evade the first part of it, which all of us can do, you can block the rest. All right, but you see, I'm building up my poise charges. I went for the attack once I had max poise. I hit him with my heavy to drain his power, and we got him down without him getting to his special one, so I didn't have to worry about uh, auto-evading his special one or getting block damage. All right, so now this is probably the hardest node on my path. And it's a skill champion, but they have persistent charges. Now, when I was looking over my path, I was thinking this might be a Korg. But now I'm like, nope, not a Korg. It is Nick Fury. I have never faced Nick Fury on this node uh, that I can remember. And this is a bad matchup. And you will find out why it's a bad matchup. So right here, everything was going fine. But see all that? Miss failed. Okay, that is one of Nick Fury's abilities. So he is like a great counter to Ghost. So that was just a bad choice. But look at this. Just wrecking me. There's nothing I could do. So he stunned me. At this point, all I'm trying to do is get off my special three. That was all I tried to do. But he stunned me. Then when I came out of the stun, he had an unblockable, which hit me and stun me again and then he wrecked me so I had no opportunity all I was doing for that entire last part was spamming the special three and I was just like are you kidding me so ghost not a great option I'm sure she can do it but she was not a good option for that especially when I'm not used to fighting uh, Nick Fury uh, with ghost really alright so blade on the other hand He's a pretty decent option. So we push Nick Fury uh, to his special or his second phase where the real Nick Fury comes out. Uh, this Nick Fury is uh, unstunnable, but I know how to fight Nick Fury. I just did not know how to fight him with Ghost. That was pretty much it. Okay, so as you can see here, he's going down. So what I try to do when I'm fighting Nick Fury is I want to push him as much as possible to a special two. Even if that one is unblockable, I can evade that one. His special one, I can't evade it. And had I known that it was going to be Nick Fury, I would not have gone in there with Ghost in the first place. I would have gone in there with Starkey or Blade. Either one of them, I would have done better, uh, I feel, against Nick Fury. All right, so now we've got the mini boss, and I've already gave up my one death which I was a little annoyed about, but, you know, it is what it is. And so I said, you know what, just as an extra insurance, because I'm not going to heal up, I'm going to put on this invulnerability boost. Uh, we're coming to the end of the season, and I'm sure I'll replenish those invulnerability boosts later. All right, so here, what you want to do is the same tactic. Just evade, get those poise charges up as much as possible. Uh, you want to parry him bait out his special ones but you want to be very careful not to uh, do any full five hit combos uh, as much as possible just do one hit two hit three hit combos because of that he likes to evade like crazy even though it says he has a low evade chance it's like black widow he's gonna evade right when you don't want him to and then he's gonna evade a lot but we got him down one death on the path, not perfect, but, you know, it is what it is. So, we'll be back to find out how we did in this war. So, just before we find out how we did, uh, we did get our boss down. And we had a chance to win, but only if they did not get one of their bosses down. So, we made sure we got all three bosses down, just in case. 
Uh, but unfortunately, they did get all three of their bosses down. They did a good hustle towards the end, and we lost. Congrats to ISO 8C. That was a good hustle towards the end. Now, my alliance has not won a single war this season, but we should still be able to get gold won, which was our goal. But check out this. This was something that uh, I found quite surprising. I actually made MVP, and I have no idea how I did that. But in any case, that's going to do it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Alliance War. We have one war left in the season. Uh, click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you guys have a blessed day.